and founder of commercial security firm Surveillance Secure. Uh, Kim, good to have you here. Thanks so much for joining us. Obviously, unprecedented. I know we use that word way too frequently when it comes to security around Capitol Hill for Joe Biden's inauguration today. But how do you think security handled everything? Uh, thanks for having me. Um, right now, security in D.C. is phenomenal. You can't. You have two zones. You got the red zone. You got the green zone. Nobody can get into the red zone unless they are authorized. If they are an engineer or if they're an essential personnel. So, as far as D.C. goes right now, no problems. Top notch. What they've been doing. D.C. has spent forty-five million dollars in uh, just securing everything. Private businesses have invested their own money to make sure everything is taken care of. There's a lot of communication going on, which was not happening beforehand. Um, uh, on uh, the 6th, when the uh, the whole riots at the Capitol were happening, agencies weren't talking to each other, um, and there was no, no mass notifications of uh, any events that were happening. So people were left in the dark, people weren't notified. But right now, we got 25,000 people on on the ground over there in uh, D.C. to secure everything. Uh, Kim, the the president, I have to continue to remind myself to call him president, not president-elect. Uh, the president mentioned in his inaugural address today, Kim, white supremacy and domestic terrorism. We know many of the state capitals across the country had increased security, New York, Michigan, other states as well. Is this going to be a, a something that we're going to have to get used to, an increase in sort of secure, uh, uh, an increase of this sort of security presence, given the fact that the president said that domestic terrorism might be something that we have to continue to monitor here? Absolutely. This is, uh, I sort of see this as a 9-11. Um, and um, a 9-11 for what happened in the Capitol. So everything, security is going to just it's going to increase. It's it, there's no no two questions about it. It's just going to add and add and add. And um, again, what I think is also going to happen more is more of the uh, analytics are going to happen. Trend analysis is going to happening, and it's just going to be more communication because one person might be doing something in Ohio, travel to New York. So how does Ohio know? that they were in New York or New York, no, they were in Ohio. So by deploying good software, trend again, and the analytics, trend analysis, that's a good way to weed out and see where the troublemakers are, the white supremacists are, and to really narrow the nine and catch them before they are a threat walking into a building. Uh, Alec, or Kim, do you, you do we expect, because a lot of this was propagated by President Trump, the fact that he's no longer in office, the fact that uh, Joe Biden was sworn in today, and the fact that President Trump, we don't even know if he's going to run for president again down the road, does this give you the inclination that maybe domestic terrorism won't be as big of a threat if President Trump sort of goes and fades into the background here? I don't think it's going to go away. It's um, it's just going to... I've just noticed in, in the years in the industry, it just keeps adding and adding and adding, and the threat is just not going to go away. All right. Kim Hartman is the CEO and founder of Surveillance Secure. Uh, Kim, such a pleasure to have you on. Thank you so much for your insight.